Welcome to Beautiful Desolation by The Brotherhood, which you might know as the people behind another adventure game that I played four or five years ago called Stasis. This was provided to me courtesy of GOG, so I'll have a link in the description to where you can get it from them if you'd like. This is a post-apocalyptic adventure game. The aesthetic really, really strongly reminds me of Fallout 1 and 2, which I absolutely adore. Um, I think the actual game itself, uh, playing it, is going to be very different, though, because Fallout 1 and 2 and all the others are RPGs. But this is an adventure game, so I'm not really expecting much, if any, action. You might notice that the music in the menu is kind of amazing. I was just grooving to it earlier when I was just testing out the game. And I learned in the intro video that the music for Beautiful Desolation is made by Mick Gordon, who has made music for a, a tons of stuff, but most um, prominent in my mind is they made the music for the 2016 Doom, which had an amazing soundtrack. So let's go. Charlie, this is the last time. I'm not doing this again. I know, baby, I know. But Don's sick. He needs help. Yeah, but I've tried. I've tried so many times. He isn't interested in help. He's your brother, Mark. He's been through so much. Once he's sobered up, we can all talk. I know, you're right. It's just late, and I'm tired. He needs to know that we're here for him. He needs our compassion and support. He'll be safer with us. The guy needs professional help. We can get him that help. I know it will be hard, but we can do this. I'm just glad he isn't out in this weather. I haven't seen a storm like this in ages. Jeez, this rain is bucketing down now. Can you turn the radio on? The traffic report should be on soon. What they are calling the storm of the decade. Reports are in of a complete grid shutdown in the city of Cape Town. Road closures are in effect all across the Atlantic seaboard. Stay tuned for a more detailed report at the top of the hour. Do you hear something? Like a, like a low rumble. What is that? Mark, there's something in the sky. What the f-
And here we go. This is as far as I played when I was testing it out. I just kind of ran around this room a little bit, checking out the controls and stuff. So now that I've actually watched the full intro video without skipping it, I'm surprised to see that we have no idea what happened in those intervening 10 years. Obviously, a lot. <laughs> Apparently, the apocalypse. Uh, yeah, who are we playing as? The person in the car or the person we were going to pick up? I think their name was Dawn. Not sure. I freaking love the aesthetic. It's so good looking. I love the videos. I love the music. I love how everything here looks. I love all of the panels and stuff like this. All these clicky buttons and even the hands being in here. And I love it. Old energy cell. Yeah, let's take a look at our inventory. Unpowered Agnate Retina. I sold everything I could to buy this Agnate Eye. I just need to hook it up to a cheap battery and we're in business. Hope it was worth it. Guess that's what the battery's for. These energy cells are as common as peanuts. Remember when people used to rely on fossil fuel and nuclear power? This works perfectly. I'll scan the Agnate Retina and unlock the backup terminal on the Penrose. I don't know what any of that really means. <laughs> Let's look around. Oh yeah, it has a really nice uh, feature where you don't have to click on stuff to make a, a description come up. You can just mouse over it. My old car. It looks like someone's been working on it. Knocking out the dents. Looks like a good set of tools and gadgets for a fixer-upper. Callan Tours Helicopter. <laughs> Don would just leave his stuff lying around. Ah, okay, so we're the person who was talking in the car. Looks like Don's got a hell of a beard, based on the image on the keycard. The only way to reach the Penrose is by air. Tourists will pay big bucks to get there by chopper. Hmm. We saw that strange shape in the sky when all the cars and everything got launched. Is that the Penrose? I hope this thing can fly. Got a bit of a rodent problem. Don loves his arcade games. Cheap cracked red leatherette with a waft of stale cigarette smoke. Don has high scores on most of these. Bet I could still kick his ass at Pong. Oh my god, I just looked up here at Dawn's bedroom. Do, am I seeing a bunch of, like, cockroaches crawling all over it? That's disgusting. Looks like he's crashing here between flights. Just a mattress, a lamp, some empty bottles. Not exactly five-star stuff. Hmm, empty bottles. Are they still an alcoholic? Connect to TV. Oh, that's cool. It's, it's the same sort of interface as before, but... Yeah, there's a connection cable. That's so cool. TV Guide, A Brief History of the Penrose, Episode 1. A beautiful docudrama outlining this momentous discovery. Ten years ago, our country was at war.
in the midst of our tribulation, like a gift from heaven, the Penrose appeared. An object of untold technological abundance that advanced civilization on all frontiers. Hunger and disease eradicated, energy mastered, and mortality conquered. But there are those who would oppose the might of Penrose allied, dissenters who fear our progress and our power, who would see our world cast back down into turmoil and chaos. There is no place in the world for these heretics, and they will be crushed beneath the heel of the agnate boot as we march towards our great future. Crushed by the agnate boot, and we have an agnate retina. Unlock the backup terminal on the Penrose. Huh. So this sounds like it's basically sort of like a key for something on the Penrose. What did the Penrose do to the world, though? Obviously it had some really bad effects. At least to the local area. But I think this is a post-apocalyptic game, so what happened to the rest of the world? Unless I'm mistaken about it even being post-apocalyptic. Hello? Don Leslie. The glowing sign advertises Colin Tours. So this is what Don's been doing with himself the past few years. At least they have data boxes here. The Bry Grill is black with old grease. Bucky. Ford pickup with a lot of mileage on the clock. Looks like it needs a wash. The new wonder of the world. A modern mystery. The Penrose experience will change you forever. Who writes this shit? Uh-uh. Ah, -uh. oh, lock terminal. I think I need the key card for that. Do I, like, drag it out? Do I drag it here? Ah, click and then click. Kalantor's pilot appointment logged in as D. Leslie, date 13th of March, 86. No upcoming bookings. <laughs> Weather extreme turbulence expected. Messages. To Don Leslie from Callan, 13th of March, 1986. Keep tourists away from the Penrose for the next 48 hours. If you get one more ticket, then consider your ass fired. Don't test me on this, Leslie. Page all pilots, I guess? Can we uh, leave outside? It doesn't seem like it. Marky, it's been a while. Can I... Uh, I wish you had called to let me know you were coming. I would have cleaned up a bit. You know I hate being called Marky. And you know that's why I do it. You look, uh, healthy. But a bit fit, yeah. But as long as I still fit in the chopper, it's all good. It's been, what, nine, ten years? Last time I saw you was... The funeral. Yes, yeah, right. So you're out of the chair, at least. That's good. Leg brace. Helps with the pain. It is like crazy, though. It looks good on you, eh? <laughs> Makes you look like a superhero. I need your help, Don. 
You're in some sort of trouble. No, no, nothing like that. I have to get up to the Penrose. You're kidding, right? Not kidding, no. I need to get up there, and you're the only one I know who can do it. Why the hell do you need to get up to that thing? I've been doing some digging. That thing up there, it's not what they say it is. It's a big alien spaceship or something. What's up there that you need to see? That thing is huge. Where would we even go on it? There's something that it's growing around. Human tech. It's man-made. I've got the coordinates, I've got the photos. I've even got a military agnet eye for the scanners up there. I just need someone who knows the air. Someone who's been close to it. I run tours, little brother. We get too close and we get shot down. You're a military pilot. You can get us close, you can get us onto it. Ah, oh, shit, man. Okay, fine. If we do this, it has to be tonight. There's a storm warning. They evacuated the whole thing. There won't be any chopper patrols in this weather. Flying in a storm like that is suicide. Once we get up there, we'll only have a few minutes before someone figures it out. I only need to get a backup of the data. Once we get back, we can blow this whole thing wide open. Just tell me one thing. Why the Pendros? Why that thing? When the Penrose arrived, it changed everything. For everyone, I need to know. I need to know what it is. Going dark. Who <laughs> have loved that cut. I can't see anything this way. Where is it? Don't worry, little brother. He's out there. We've got a hell of a beautiful mane of hair on us, don't we? <laughs> God, I love this so far. Uh, we're supposed to only have a few minutes, so... I... Uh, Story-wise, I think we should be quick, but... I want to read all the descriptions for everything? I don't know if the game auto-saves. I guess I'll do a hard save. Looks like someone left these behind in a hurry. Chopper blades turn slowly in the lashing rain. Military helicopter landing pad. This thing coming into it, it looks sort of biological and mechanical. This, this is amazing. Plastic snaps in the tearing wind. A military blockade has been established below the Penrose. Ah, oh, it's, it's over the it's water, isn't it? Up. The bright yellow ground sheets are slick with rain. Calcified ground. So weird. The pitted ground looks like a calcified coral reef for... The inside of an old bone. Far below, the waves thrash against dark rocks. Hey, what is this thing made of? Bone? Credentials confirmed. 
Service officer Peter... something I can't pronounce. Security protocols have been disabled for maintenance. Good. Mm, device interface? No maps loaded. Conversation review. Well, this is just my own features. How do I, um... How do I download the data? Uh, let's look around. There's another one. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Need a password. How many digits? Four. We got a codex. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Like, let's just look at everything we have down here, huh? We have the inventory. I already seen that. PDA. That's this thing. God, I love... Ah, I love the aesthetic. I love everything. I love this. This looks like a... I think a VGA connection. Um... I love all the buttons. I love all the, like, aesthetically appropriate sort of 80s style logos and OS splash screens and stuff. Ah, device interface. So that's the button for whatever thing you might be connected to. And everything else has nothing to do with the connection. Yep. No map. Conversations we've had with Dawn. Message review. Just everything that's popped up on screen, I guess. And then some help for playing the game. And then... Codex. Charlize. Hmm. Yeah, they said, um... I haven't seen you since the funeral, so I think Charlize died in that accident. And it sounds like we had our leg hurt. We're wearing a, we were in a, a wheelchair, I think, and now we use a brace. Ah, that's the eye, and it looks like we've somehow figured out that the password is one of these three numbers. Oh, bookmarks, that's so cool. Penrose. Don't know what the connection between those two images is. It's too hard to see anything. I'm so into this story. God, I want to know more. This is so cool. Okay, uh, 8738. Let's try that one. Nope. 7734. Uh-huh. Director Walter Corman. Record file system V release 9.10 restricted access to SDF and suppliers compiled Thursday, December 19th, 1985. Ba -ba -ba. Manage backup procedure. I don't know why. Get what you need and get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm reading adventure game descriptions that are super cool and interesting. Prepare drive. Prepare disk. Um, I feel like if I do this, that might make us have to leave. So I want to read all the other stuff around here. <laughs> Strange stalagmites jut from the glistening wet ground. The metal walkway leads to the laboratories on the upper level. All this time, they said it wasn't man-made. to tell if these dark growths are emerging from the probe or boring into it. Don, I told you. I knew they were lying to us. These protuberances lend a disturbing alien feel to the landscape. Indeed. Some of these descriptions are a little much. I wish they held back a little bit.
prepare data. Complete data in buffer, prepare drive, complete disk and drive, prepare disk, disk red, run backup. with your hands behind your head. Am I supposed to be scared of this, like, really cute robo-dog thing? Because it's really cute. Oh, I love how it looks. It's got, like, a CRT display on the top of its head, and it's got ears. It's got floppy ears. Don't shoot, we're unarmed. Does it even have a gun? I don't think so. It just looks like a camera on legs we are unarmed we just here for information control control come in we have two trespassers at dare site over do you hear something What the hell just happened and why? The autonomous four-legged support drone is idling. Control, come in. Over. <laughs> I like the voice actor for the Agnate dog. They got a really nice voice. That dog is just too cute. I hope they come with us. Things look different below us. There's lots of lights and there's all these little drone things. What the hell happened? This thing, it did something to us. The growths are made up of an intricate lattice work, delicate but strong. Yeah, everything just changed. Scanners. Have we been transported to a different time? The device whirs away, reading, reading data from its strange surroundings. A towering temple now stands in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Look at that little like spider robot. Bony stalagmites twist upwards into the still, softly lit air. Military transport. Shit. Where's the chopper? A military troop transport is parked where the Kalen chopper once stood. I don't know if it's Kalen, Kalen, Colin. Uh-uh. Yeah, not getting in there anytime soon. Don, you okay? Holy shit, Mark. Look at this thing. Where the hell are we? We're still on the Penrose. Where are all the labs? And where the hell is the chopper? I'm gonna lose my job over this. Mr. Callan is gonna have my ass in a sling when he finds out. Look around us, Don. I don't think your job is our biggest problem right now. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So what do we do? Radio someone for help. I'd rather keep our presence here under wraps for now. 
We need to get off the Penrose. Can you fly this thing? Yeah. It looks like a simple troop transport. Can't be too different from a Tanook. I'll know more once I'm inside. But yeah, if it flies, I can fly it. Control, come in. Over. We have to get off this thing. To see is placid and still. Damn it. It's locked. It's the damn military. It must be them. Oh, yeah, what the hell? I don't remember picking this up. It looks ancient. What is this? Simulacrum. I use it on this? <laughs> okay. It's got four faces on it, four different colors, all leading to something. Use radio. Oh, there's even an interface for that. Scanning something. Come in. Over. Review report. Uh, hmm. Unclean beings. The holy shrine of Darius has been desecrated. Holy. Where are we? The human filth. He is to address us while defiling the Sanctorium of Dallas. Accessing additional justice protocols. Listen here, you rusted gearbox. We didn't violate shit. Justice protocols loaded. Purging erroneous data. Subject is hostile. The sack of bone and meat has besmirched Dallas with its cough and stands here unrepentant. Its impertinence has been noted in the log for transcription to the record. Connecting to the record, new information has been added to the queue. All evidence of its foul trespass shall be burned away momentarily. Initiating DNA scan. Please hold still. Maybe I shouldn't have been so testy. <laughs> Purge our presence? What do you mean? Memory at capacity. Please defrag to free up memory. <laughs> Unloading justice protocols. It may experience some slight discomfort as we drain the fluids from its foul human husk. It should be honored that its blood shall adorn Agnate armor as we carry out the will of Darius. Please show mercy. Forgive our transgression against Darius. Processing. Access mercy subcommand. Yes. No. It seeks our forgiveness. Perhaps it can atone for its trespass in the arena of Nevergorgis. DNA sequencing complete. Cancel kill command. The sweet husk houses no mutations. How strange. The ascendancy will want to hear of this. Initiate contact with ascendancy. It is a lucky flesh set. To have cheated death so narrowly. Captain Fisher, ready the transport and set course for the bulwark. Yeah, a lot of questions. I don't think they're going to answer, though. What do you mean I have no mutations? Memory limit exceeded. To purge memory, please return to charge rejuvenator. This noisy meat has tried my patience enough. Lieutenant Marie, bring the fat one. And the Agnate Dog. It can be used for spares. You better not talk take apart our beautiful little doggy.
This is a hell of an eventful intro. <laughs> Prologue. Don. Don, come in. Arky, yes, I can hear you. I'm hurt, but I'm all in one piece. I'm by some sort of petty satellite. Can't make anything else out. Can't tell my position. I'm hurt. L lucky, looking out. <laughs> Don, hold still. I'm on my way. I guess once again I should be fast, but look at this world, look at these growths. I, I can't believe I survived that crash. A ramshackle camp has been built using old army tents and canvas sheets. What is that? Codex updated. We learn something about what the plant? Overpass. Is that what was added? Is that where we are? Fatal error. Multiple systems not responding. Avionic system lock implemented. Agonate override required. We just got... This. So, one of them's filled up now. Nah. This thing ain't going anywhere in a hurry. I love the aesthetic. Everything's so detailed. I love the mixture of super high detailed pre-rendered backgrounds and 3D characters. Oh yeah, this is definitely the overpass. The bridge is overrun by weeds and vines. Thick tropical... Foliage has overgrown its surroundings. That looks like a nasty force field that would shock me to death. There's a robot over there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The concrete pillar has been worn away with time. Hold on, I want to make sure I'm not missing anywhere else to go. No, I think this is it. Can't seem to get close enough to do anything with it. What on earth? Oh, these aren't gates, I don't think. I think this is just the top of a pillar. I think I can safely walk here. Yeah, okay. I thought it was like going right across the ground. Ah, you survived and unscathed. You are still strong, my child, still strong. Survived? It was you caused that crash? It was the explosion that caused the crash, and I caused the explosion. So I suppose I did cause the crash. This time. What the hell are they? Again, a mixture of machine and biological. There's a skull in there, so... 
and the voice sounds like it's a ghost talking. You can definitely see something like a, I don't know, a heart or a lung or something there moving. My brother. I have to find him. He was pulled out. I think I saw a parachute. Ah, oh, your brother. The other. Yes. He is certainly alive. He always lives. Always lives. Unless he doesn't. Is it not better to die a meaningful death than to live a meaningful life? I'm sorry. I was asleep. <laughs> is this a dream? No. Not so. This is now. I'm tangled up. The Penrose did something to us. I think it transported us somewhere. Somewhere? Not so. You stayed bound to where you were. The strings are tight, tight. But the world moved around you. The where has stayed, but the when has changed. I'm not certain, not certain how many days have passed. <sighs> I think I may have been asleep for some time. But the record shows the passage of centuries. There is so much data, so much, and we need to get to work. You said that Don is alive. How do I get to him? Please. Such care and compassion. I had forgotten how much love thrives within you. You will find your brother. And if he's hurt, we need to hurry. There is a vehicle to the south that is in need of repair. The parts you require are aboard the crashed transport. Once the craft is ready, you will need a neural net. The puppet has one. Now I need to go. This feels wrong. Wrong! The strings are still so tangled. Go! So they recognize that something strange has happened, and they feel like they've been asleep for a long time. But obviously stuff has happened without us. So not everybody could have been asleep for stuff to have been happening. Okay, so all the parts I need in the crashed vehicle. Yeah, I guess I need something new to do anything with this, right? Yeah, I think I need to continue down from where I was talking with that person. Strange glittering insects skim across the water's surface. Okay, now I'm just going in circles. <laughs> uh, I, it did say something was added to a m the map. Ah. Vesta was added. Where are we? we move locations? I guess we'll just find a level transition point at some point.
Overgrown tree roots form a bridge across a still green pond. The wreckage of a truck trailer sprawls over the edge of the overpass. Oh, I love the look of all these vines overgrowing all this rusted, breaking old cars. Abandoned vehicles are at a standstill on the overpass. Milkbush Seawall. Oh, that was a level transition. So, we are at Milkbush. Here. Isn't this where we started up here? Oh yeah, it is. I didn't know I could just walk right up here the whole time. The rusted body of a car is barely visible beneath a dense growth of vines. Seawall. <laughs> A little drone going past. I can see why it's called Beautiful Desolation. As desolate as everything is, there's still a lot of green and there's a lot of life. A lot of animals and insects. Wreckage looks like part of an old water tower. Ah, <gasps> little lizard down there. There's so much animal life. Lizards and birds and, well, drones aren't really an animal. It's a well-equipped mechanics workshop, housing tools and salvaged scrap from the surrounding wrecks. Oh, is this the thing we're going to be fixing up? It looks... It looks amazing. <laughs> I'd love to ride in that rust bucket. Array. Is, is that showing everything going into a wormhole? Slingshot device, tether device, red mercury, array control pylon unlocked. Add component to Buffalo. <laughs> this has its own interface. Yes. Missing components, neural network, avionics, data bus. Uh, I don't suppose this simulacrum goes here? No.
animal remains? What sort of an animal was this? This old carcass has become a cradle of a new life for shrubs, insects, birds, and small rodents. What was this? Greenery sprouts from every crevice of the building. Sounds like some serious stuff was going on inside. Sounds like a Geiger counter and a welder. Milk Bush Beach. old boat just become a part of the ground An old fishing trawlers half submerged in the white sand Hello? Is anyone here? The skeleton of a large ship creaks softly in the ocean breeze. Oh, that's what we're walking inside of. What are those things on the ground? I don't recognize them. What is that? Hold on, what is that thing? I see a lot of human-looking bones around it, so... Hmm. I think I'm going to save. I love the overly elaborate menu and all the k clink k chunks as you open it. It's so cool. What was that? Small rowboat has come to rest in a leafy oasis. It's scared of me? Well, that's a relief. Lush green palms dapple the beach with shadow. <gasps> That's the acne dog, isn't it? The beach is piled with the carcasses of old cars and trucks. Yeah, let's go straight for the dog. They better come with me. What the hell did you do? I, are you blaming me for this? This was certainly none of my doing. I had nothing to do with us crashing. We were clearly shot down by a hostile entity. But that is not what I am referring to. You did something on the Penrose. You gained unauthorized access to the computers there. I saw you. I don't know what happened on the Penrose. And I don't know how we ended up wherever the hell we are. But we need to work together to find our way back. Work together with a terrorist like yourself? Never! I'm not a terrorist. I'm a journalist. I was trying to expose whatever the hell they were doing on the Penrose. I know you're probably a bit shaken up. But we need to find a way out of here. I am not shaken up. I am attempting to initiate contact with Control. And until Control is updated with our current SID rep, I am not leaving. We have a better chance of surviving this if we work together. All right, I will join you. But I will not be treated as a pet, nor as a tool. I will accompany you until I can make contact with Control. And when we get back, you will be placed under arrest for trespassing on an active military base. 
Not a pet and not a tool, just a cute. If we get back safely and you still want to arrest me, I'll go quietly. Let's go, civilian. I'm on your six. Cute dog friend using all this like military jargon, sit rep and on your six, as if it's intimidating at all. <laughs> I am wondering why this happened and, and whether it had anything to do with what we were doing. Did simply making a data backup make this happen? Like I doubt it. Was it coincidence though that it just happened right then and there? Was it because of the storm? I, I don't know. Oh, they got a flashlight. Take item, what's there? Gold plated hood ornament? Do I need that? Thin coating of gold is worn, but it might still be worth something. For selling? The debris of distant cities has washed ashore. We've already been down there. Like we just gotta go back, I guess? I'm not sure where else we can go, though. Can I install the gold-plated hood ornament on the buffalo? That's a buffalo troop transport. Good, you know it. <laughs> They're sniffing the ground! They're sniffing! <laughs> they just did doggy things. Well, not yet. <laughs> They're rolling around in the sand. <laughs> They're too cute. I love them. I wonder if they can do something with our wrecked ship. Like, can you get into the locked terminal? I've got a frequency. It's not control, but it is something. This troop transport has its own sentience. It is dying. I do not know what to do for it, what to say to it. The neural net that we need, isn't it? I don't know how to help either. I don't know what would help a dying Agnate. It's broken. Split in two. It is slowly fading away. Hello. I'm here. You're not alone. Not alone. Can't it just, I don't know, back itself up? It's gone. It's just... gone. I'm sorry. At least it heard some kind words in its final moments. I know this is hard, but I need access to its diagnostics. I suppose it is what must be done. By the way, I'm Prototype Zero Zero Combat Helper. You can call me Pooch. <laughs> Mark. Mark Leslie. I love them. Okay. Eject avionics data bus. Yes. That's all we're getting out of it, right? So we got half of what we need for the buffalo. A device that enables communication between avionics components. Now what? Yeah, I was thinking maybe I could have their 
neural network. I installed the avionics data bus. I just need that neural net. Ah, I see that you have found your companion. It is good, good that she survived as well. Once you have found your brother, what do you plan to do? There has to be a way back where we came from. Back home. Home? It is strange, strange that you still think of them as home. But yes, there is a way. You will cast a stone into the water and create ripples. The ripples will open a maelstrom into which time itself will spill. The poles will move. They can pull the Penrose from being held in this place and time. Something is holding the Penrose here. What do you mean? Yes, it is bound up, tied down, angry, angry, clawing the confines of its cage. Even if the portal between them and now was open this minute, the Penrose would still be bound to this place. The Ascendancy, the Tribulationists, they have it trapped. They worship it, yet they fear that it will leave them. To open the portal, you will need to repair the array that pulled the Penrose into your web and release the spinning crimson anchors at Babel that hold the Penrose trapped to our world. Tell me more about these anchors. Once the array is switched on and the portal is open, the anchors must be disrupted. I do not know how this can be done, but with the array activated and the well open, the temple will be in chaos. Chaos. What is the Array? The three arms of the Array are bound together through time. They exist at the start of the string, and now here at its end. So the Array existed back in my time? Yes, but over the centuries, the three arms have been torn apart. They require a power source of red mercury, a tether device that lets them communicate with the past, and a slingshot to rip open time and space. Where can I find all these things? This puppet managed to track the Red Mercury to an agnet named Grave, who runs an outpost called the Kettle. The other items? You will have to seek those out for yourself. Now go, my child, go. Overriding safety protocols. Ejecting neural net. Thank you. That is gross. Still has some brain fluid from the old robot that used it to control his CPU and higher functions. Careful, civilian. Don't fall in. I can't swim. Oh. I have integrated the Buffalo's voice commands into the radio. We will also be able to use the autopilot, thanks to the new avionics bus. Okay, so we can have it just, like, come pick us up wherever we are. Thanks, Pooch. I don't think I could have done that myself. Oh, we get to actually navigate in the overworld map. Oh, that is cool. 
Wow, I love all these interfaces. Is there like uh, grids that you can select? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 stop. Yeah, you can just go to any one of them, even if it's not like a, a proper place. Which implies to me that there might be special things out there that we don't see on the map. Perhaps? Maybe. So this whole area is Vesta. And we were just at one area, the milk bush. Slots for modules. I guess we're going to be upgrading this thing later. Is this just to, like, uh, shortcuts to go to them? Yeah. If you don't want to manually navigate. This is so cool. What is this button? Oh, makes that go away if you want. Yeah, I'll get rid of it for now. I'm fine with navigating on my own. Yeah, so I, I can navigate using this, but I don't have to. Perhaps we'll get coordinates to certain things that we don't see on the map. And so this will be an easy way to go to those coordinates. Yep, so we just land at all these other milk bush places, seawall, beach. That's so cool to see everything from this perspective. Whoa. What is that? Is that the portal? Warden. It's got its own, like, gravitational field going around it. Well, I'm supposed to go to the Agnate Outpost to find the Red Mercury, right? That's my next lead, so I should probably go there first. This world is so cool looking. Military transponder required. Oh. Huh. Well, let's try to go to Warden then. Warden access device required. Okay. Ray site too? Yeah. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. I'm loving basically everything about it, and it's amazing. And what a hell of an intro. God, the intro, so many things happened. It was so exciting. I'm so intrigued by the story and what's going to happen. This is just all so cool. So, hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.